Substance abuse is a huge issue in our community, and the Salvation Army wants to be part of that answer. So the Salvation Army is a partner in what is being dubbed as the Midtown Redevelopment Project. So we've made an investment on this corner. We've spent $6 million on this facility, and we think it looks fantastic and makes a difference in the skyline of this area. The Salvation Army Midtown Service and Treatment Center reflects the mission of the Army as we want to provide services for men and women regardless of their race, their gender, their sexual orientation or preference. And we want this place to be a center of hope. We've designed all our buildings, including this one now, with a great emphasis on light and openness and uh, visibility. Aesthetics are really important, I think. Uh, you come into a place that looks good, and it impacts your attitude and your approach about where you are. We wanted this to look like a place where there's something positive going on. This center uh, is a three-story facility, and each floor has its own purpose. The first floor is focused to the community. This is the Midtown Service and Treatment Center. And so we want to invite our neighbors here in Midtown and across the region to come and to be a part of our social and spiritual ministry that takes place on this floor. We have a partnership with Athenia. They have a clinic where you can come in and receive medical services and see nurses and doctors, and that's great. It's here for the community. The second floor set up for outpatient services has a different approach, and many of the rooms are designed for the best clinical outcome possible. They're set up in group education, which would be round sitting. Some of them are set up lecture style, and others are set up classroom style with writing surfaces and those types of things. We design this outpatient treatment floor to train and develop substance abuse counselors. The most exciting part is, I think, the opportunity for training the opportunity to work with that next generation of counselors and social workers to provide them with a hands-on, real-life experience where they can engage in treatment services themselves, provide those treatment services, provide lectures and classes themselves, all the while observed by their professors, by our trained and experienced counselors and supervisors, and have a true learning environment while we're serving others. And then on the third floor, we provide residential services for both men and women which is a new approach for the Salvation Army here in Midtown St. Louis. What we've done is really taken the pieces of the program of the old Harbor Light Center and transformed them into new physical facilities, a new veterans residence here, a new 3010 apartments available for persons who are homeless and others seeking special needs housing. This substance abuse treatment and service center, as well as our plans next for a community center that will be a part of this neighborhood as well. This is a, a very low cost way for people to receive top shelf service that are subsidized by the government. So for the person that comes in, the cost is very low and in some cases absolutely free uh, for the people that are receiving the services. So I think that really sets us apart in the area of providing uh, mental health for people who are in need. The goal of this building is to transform lives. Those who are struggling and dealing with addiction, we want to help them transform their lives and uh, become the people they were designed to be. The Salvation Army has a very simple mission, and it's to save the world. But what we have learned is that we cannot do it by ourselves. This facility helps us to do that in amazing ways.